Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly general energy reading. Yes, please keep in mind, Gemini, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Please do not try and fit anything into your life that does not fit naturally, yes? Also keep in mind that this is a timeless reading. So just because this does have an association with or it is dated for July of 2022, please keep in mind that this can resonate for you at any time in your life. It does not have to be just for July. The association with July is really just for organizational purposes, okay? So this, whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment, yes? Uh, also, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. Smashing that like button for me definitely helps with the YouTube algorithm. It helps to get more, get this video out to more people who could potentially use the messages. Yes? Excellent, Gemini. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you, and then we will see what messages Spirit has for you for this round. Yeah? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on? What's going on for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node at this time? Please, Spirit. What's going on for Gemini? First card out is the King of Pentacles. Okay. I want to say your father. I just heard your father. Four of Wands, Two of Cups. Overall energy is the Hanged Man. The first thing that I'm, okay, so this is kind of, well, I don't know, maybe it's not, I wanted to say it's weird, um, but I want, <laughs> I feel like somebody's trying to get married. This is not necessarily supposed to be a love reading, okay? I'm, I'm channeling for the sign, for the, placements of sun, moon, rising, and north node, but that doesn't mean that we can't still talk about ro a romance if that's a thing, all right? So take it as it resonates, you guys, all right? But the first thing that I'm getting here is that someone's trying to get married, um, and they have to get the approval of their father. This feels pretty archaic, not gonna lie. Um, I mean, I guess, okay, maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, I guess there are still certain situations or certain cultures that do that still ask permission from the parents or need to get permission from the parents. Um, now, here's the thing. I feel like there's been a change in perspective. It may have been on behalf of this King of Pentacles here. It may be, ha may be if this does represent your father, this King of Pentacles here, what I'm feeling is that there's an a there's been a change in perspective in terms of this king of pentacles so either this king of pentacles has changed his mind or has changed his perspective or you the viewer have changed your perspective on behalf of this king of pentacles now this could actually be your father here who is who has been a hindrance in terms of someone getting married or some sort of union or relationship coming together. This King of Pentacles could also represent your father in terms of your relationship with your father, okay? Whether your father is actually alive or not, but how that has been affecting your relationship with this King of Pentacles, who just may be, who may also be the individual that you are trying to marry, that you want to marry. This could also be a situation in which you are, in fact, this king of pentacles. You could be a man or you could be a woman who is more on mask on the masculine side. But I kind of at this for this part of the, the energy, I feel like this person is actually a man. And your relationship with your father has helped to shape you in a certain way. And now you have, and I don't feel like it would probably be the best way, all right? There are some sort of negative connotations there, but you have gone through a change in perspective in terms of your self-identity, your sense of self that has, that I feel like you are now removing. It's like you're removing some sort of identity of this King of Pentacles away from 
who your father used to be or who or what your father represents in your life. Your relationship with your father has heavily influenced your relationship with other men or other masculine energies. Your relationship with your father has heavily influenced your relationship with yourself, even if you are a woman, even if you are the daughter here and not necessarily the son. Your relationship with your father has heavily influenced your relationship with other individuals in your life. And I wanna say that's not a good thing, or at least it hasn't been a good thing. The saving grace is that you or someone seems to have gone through a change in perspective here. Something very specific that I'm, that I'm picking up on is that your change in perspective does have to do with a, someone that is in your life right now. A king of pentacles, a masculine energy, a father, a father figure, a potential spouse, someone that is commitment oriented or someone that is very financially well off, someone that looks very good on paper, um, this feels like someone that you want to marry, your, or you would want to marry, your perspective of this individual, this King of Pentacles, has changed. And in terms of that, I mean, this is the individual that you potentially will be having this relationship with or already have this relationship with. Okay, keep in mind guys, I know this, this, this sounds kind of confusing, but this King of Pentacles energy here is representing two people, okay? Is representing your father and or your relationship with your father and is also representing a relationship with a certain individual in your life right now, a certain masculine individual. This is one of those rare times where I really feel very strongly that this is actually a man, even though we're, we, may, we mostly talk about energies here, not necessarily gender, but either it's a man or it's a masculine energy. You could be a same sex couple and you could be the feminine side of the situation looking for a masculine. Okay, that doesn't, that, take it as it resonates. But either way, your, rela your relationship with your father has helped to shape your relationship with masculine individuals or masculine energies moving forward. And it hasn't necessarily been for the best. Saving grace here is there is a change in perspective involved. And that is allowing a relationship to come together, a union, maybe even a marriage. Okay? It's allowing that to come together. Excuse me. Your change in perspective is allowing that to come together. All right. Let's dive deeper. For my Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. What's going on for Gemini? Clarify these energies for Gemini, please, Spirit. Last shuffle here. I want to clarify the King of Pentacles first. All right. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini, please, Spirit. Clarify the King of Pentacles. What does the King of Pentacles represent for Gemini here? The Empress. The Knight of Cups. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Gemini. All right. Overall energy is the Sun. Okay. The Empress, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Then we have the Five of Wands reversed and the Devil reversed. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Give me a second. Let me, um, let me just make sure I'm channeling this correctly. I mean, obviously, we have some sort of negative attachment, some sort of toxic energy, some sort of differing of opinion, some sort of um, internal conflict that seems to be released here. The devil in reverse with the five of wands in reverse. Okay. Now, the one thing that I'm working on really understanding for you, Gemini, is what this empress represents here. And in terms of this situation, the Empress, I get the Empress really just represents a blessing. Okay. It represents, un, she represents unconditional love. She represents um, abundance. I really do feel like the Empress here is a blessing. I, if this actually is a marriage, Gemini, I feel like this, this marriage is being blessed, is being ordained by this father figure. 
by this king of pentacles. This, honestly, this feels like a truce. It feels like this individual, this king of pentacles, this father figure, or whomever it is that's in control in this way, may also be someone that is um, holding the purse strings, right? Uh, if this is, in fact, I do feel like this is a marriage, but if this is, in fact, a marriage, this person would be the one to foot the bill, traditionally speaking. So this is probably the father of the bride. This person has gone through a change in perspective. And I feel like with the Empress energy here, this King of Pentacles is willing to do whatever he can to fulfill the needs of this relationship or the needs of this marriage. He's willing to foot this bill. He's willing to, I mean, like in some cases, Gemini, this feels like an over, an, an almost as if this king of pentacles would be trying to make up for lost time whether this individual hasn't really been in your life at all up until now or very much at all up until now or or this is specifically the way that your father or the way that this king of pentacles has treated the individual that you are trying to marry that is also reflected by this king of pentacles it, there may have been a situation, Gemini, in which your father may have actually been jealous of your relationship with this king of pentacles or your soon-to-be spouse, soon-to-be husband. But why would he be jealous of it? Because he was because this individual was taking their little girl away or was taking their princess away or were, was taking a, a, a somewhat of a companion away. Um, didn't like this. I, I don't know. There, there's some there's for some of you, there's some sort of jealousy that has been involved. But that seems to be released now. Oh, geez. Stop hitting the camera, Eric. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That seems to be released now because you have the devil in reverse with the uh, the five of wands in reverse. There's some sort of fear, some sort of attachment, uh, some sort of codependency, some sort of negativity, differing of opinion that is being released here on behalf of this King of Pentacles. And then overall energy is the sun. All right. I, I feel like I what I the, the, the strongest feeling that I get from the sun here is that things are going to be really, really great in this relationship. Now, um, this father figure is going to be an integral part of this relationship. It may even come down to where your future spouse, your soon to be spouse and your father may end up becoming really good friends as a result of this change in perspective, change in perspective. The hanged man is your overall energy. That's really awesome, Gemini. Okay. Let's clarify the Four of Wands next. Clarify the Four of Wands for Gemini, please, Spirit. Knight of Wands, the Magician. Well, clarifying the Four of Wands here. <laughs> and the King of Wands. Okay, and the Six of Wands, overall energy. This is beautiful. I actually, what I want to do is I want to switch this because I believe the magician came out first, but it was face down. And then you have the Knight of Wands and then the King of Wands. I feel like somebody is, somebody, someone, um, this King of Wands here kind of represents the official spouse. This person has been bound and determined. There may have been some sort of battle. I really do feel like that your future spouse, whomever it is you are coming into union with, Okay, or maybe even getting married to your per this is this is that person. Okay, this is that masculine energy that was also kind of being represented by this King of Pentacles. Okay, because remember, this King of Pentacles was was like showing up as kind of two different people. The King of Wands here is the official partner, the official mate. And this person, this King of Wands here was not about to let this King of Pentacles not let him have you. 
will say or not be your spouse or not or, or not be with you not not he was not about to let this king of pentacles come into union with you and I'm not saying that this king of wands was necessarily going to do something nasty or was going to do something violent or anything like that but he this person was has been bound and determined to make this union or make this wedding if that is if that's the case make this happen nothing was going to stop him okay i mean y'all i'm picking up on energies of this person was like look if we have to elope then we have to elope I don't know what your father's problem with me is. I don't know what this King of Pentacles problem with me is, but we cannot, we really should not allow him to tell us who to be or what to do or how to act or who we can or cannot be with. That is really none of his business. And if he doesn't like it, then we don't have to be a part of their lives, says this King of Wands. Beautiful. But it looks like, it seems like none of that actually had to happen. Overall energy here is the Six of Wands. It feels like this cooler heads have prevailed. Um, there is a victory here already. Even what we were saying here with the King of Pentacles, I feel like this King of Pentacles has had a serious change of heart and is willing to and or is trying to make up for it. Because like I feel, I feel like this King of Pentacles here really has been the bad guy, we'll say, quote unquote, okay? This King of Pentacles really may have done some things that were really very unacceptable. I mean, like, I don't, regardless as to, I don't care if you're somebody's father, somebody's guardian, somebody's best friend or whatnot, whatever, like, there are lines that should not be crossed. Ultimately, your relationships, your romantic interests, who you choose to marry is between you and your spouse. And if someone else doesn't like it, too bad for them. That doesn't give them the right to do things to try and sabotage the situation, which is what this King of Pentacles may have done. Or at least tried to do. Because there is a big, 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 big change of heart. Now, all of a sudden, this King of Pentacles just wants to throw, wants to throw like the whole bank or all of their riches or all of their resources or all of their time or all, they just wanna, they just wanna pour themselves onto supporting this relationship all of a sudden, which now that I talk about it, that seems suspicious. I mean, at first it was feeling, it was feeling nice. It was feeling sweet. There was a change in perspective here. This person just wants to shower the, the, the just wants to show their support for the relationship by showering it with abundance. But now that I, that I keep talking about it, something feels suspicious about that, but maybe that's just me being, being me. I don't know. And honestly, it really doesn't matter. It didn't matter anyway, because I feel like you guys are going to go off and do whatever it is you do anyway. Like, it doesn't really matter. So even if this individual does end up having ulterior motives underneath the surface now, all of a sudden that they're so amicable towards this, if again, it really doesn't matter. Because you guys in this union are going to go off and do your own thing anyway and are probably going to be fairly inaccessible to this guy. And maybe that's the reason why he's showering with abundance and support and love and care. And it's like almost getting to the point of being annoying because he knows you two, y'all two are about to ride off into the sunset together. And he may, who knows the next time he'll see you. Mm. Mm. Clarify the two of cups for Gemini, please spirit. Two of cups. Clarify the two of cups for Gemini. Eight of Wands is reversed. Clarify the Two of Cups. Death. And the Six of Wands. Okay, overall, overall energy is the star. All right. Um, So death is an indicator of a transformation. Death is one of those cards that can represent marriage or getting into a solid, stable relationship because, because in terms of that, like even if it's just going from being in a solid, stable relationship to, to now being officially married, you are going through a major transformation. 
a major transition, okay? And that's what death represents. Death represents transitioning, okay? A transition from one state of being to the next, all right? Now, with that said, you have the Eight of Wands reversed, which to me feels like the blockage of you two moving forward with your with taking your relationship to the next level. But then you have death transforming out of that to the Six of Wands. Also, the star is at the bottom of the deck. So what I want to say about this, Gemini, is even though there was a blockage in terms of you two moving forward with your relationship, King of Pentacles, this person was blocking this. This King of Pentacles may also straight up and uh, straight up and down. This person, this King of Pentacles may also be an ex that your father really wanted you to be with or really resembled your father or, or something like that. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, you guys. But either way. You have transformed, you have gotten past this blockage and your victory is coming and your, and your wish fulfillment is here, okay? Ultimately is what that one means. This is beautiful for you, Gemini. This is really, really beautiful. Okay, closing message, potential outcome for you, Gemini. In this reading, closing message, potential outcome for Gemini. Okay. Overall energy is the king of cups. You know, someone here has had such a change of heart. Oh, God. And you know, it, to be honest with you, like all I want to do is roll my eyes at this person. And I feel like it's this, this guy, this King of Pentacles, whomever this King of Pentacles is here, that seems to have cha had a change of heart and now all of a sudden wants to shower this relationship with blessings, all I wanna do is roll my eyes. Because every because like I see through it, and maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being a little bit jaded here, I don't know. But like from what I, I, just, I don't know, what I authentically feel about this person is just like, you're so full of shit. Like, I see right through you. I see what you're doing. You lost, okay? You lost this war, all right? You can't keep these two people from being together. So now what? So so this, mu this must be, uh, if you can't beat them, then join them type of shit. You are so full of shit. <laughs> so full of shit. But you know what? That's fine. Go ahead. Let this person do It's not even like it even matters. They have no effect on you. Like I was gonna, like I was saying, Gemini, you guys were going to be together regardless as to what this person said or what this person did. And if, and, and, and if they were to take any sort of any more really extreme actions or any extreme actions, all they would be doing is digging their own grave and making themselves look worse. Because eventually the truth was going to come out. Right. This person is showering you with blessings, showering you with love and acceptance. They are full of shit. And I and, and to be honest, okay, all right. Let me also say, I also even though I'm sitting here, <laughs> even though I'm sitting here saying this person is full of shit, I also want to say they might be genuine. Now, they might have had a change of heart. Now. But they spent all of this time up until this moment degrading and downplaying and bemoaning and even trying to maybe trying to sabotage this relationship. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened, but this person has done a complete 180. And all I want to do is roll my eyes, but that's fine. What are these two cards here? The Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles to match this King of Pentacles. Either a mother figure stepped in here or the future wife or spouse of this King of Wands, King of Pentacles, because remember, Gemini, the King of Pentacles was showing up as two people. The person, your, your 
potential future spouse and whomever the masculine and or father figure is that sullied up your relationship or your view of this individual here, okay? I feel like either you stepped in at in your self-worth or a mother figure stepped in, but something happened. This is, I guess this is what happened. Something happened that caused somebody's self-worth to be put on display. The strongest thing that I feel here, Gemini, is that the strongest thing that I feel here is that the feminine side of this situation, again, it could be a same-sex relationship. It doesn't matter. The feminine side of this situation stood their ground. And I feel like you stood your ground for an extended amount of time that got this king of pentacles in terms of the father or the authoritative figure to start to see you as an adult. You stood your ground to the point where your this king of pentacles no longer saw you as their little girl or as a child. And ultimately, you may have actually given them an ultimatum. Like that's kind of what I'm getting with this seven of pentacles energy. The seven of pentacles energy is making me feel like somebody here realized that it is what it is, basically. I'm going to marry this person or I'm going to be in a relationship with this person and either you can be a part of that or you can get out of the way. The, the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles energy is giving me a feeling that someone here was made to realize that you were grown or you are grown or this is who you are. And this is what you're going to get from me. You're not going to get anything else from me. So you can either get on board or you can get the F up out the way. So this really feels like this father figure here realized that they were going to lose you forever if they just didn't accept what it was you were trying to do. And I'm not here to say what you're trying to do or who you're trying to marry is wrong or not. But ultimately, this person got the message and now is on board. I heard it's loud and clear and now it's on board. And they're, now they're on board. Okay, victory, victory is at hand. That's beautiful. All right, let's close this reading out. I'm feeling, I'm feeling guided to go with the light worker oracle for you, Gemini, all right? So let's get your closing message here, your closing oracle guidance. For my Geminis, sun, moon, rising, and north node. Closing Oracle Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Yeah, here it is right here. This is exactly what happened. This is card number 34, which does boil down to a seven, and it says, hold your center. This is exactly what you did. This is what the Queen of Pentacles energy did. She stood her ground. She held her center. She held her self-worth. She held on to her right to choose. And someone got the message. Hold your center. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there, and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. This is exactly what somebody did. This is what caused someone, okay, that's definitely what happened then. That's what caused somebody to have a change of heart, to come out of this toxicity, to realize, devil in reverse, five of wands in reverse, to realize that regardless as to what they think or have to say about the situation, it really doesn't fucking matter because ultimately they are not in control or they're no longer in control anymore. This is not a situation where daddy gets to choose for you anymore. 
you know? Those days are over. You are an adult. You're a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman. And you have the right to choose who your mate or your spouse will be. And if you don't like it, you can kick rock. If you don't, oh, wow, okay. What I just heard was, if you don't like it, old man, you can kick rocks. Because that's not my problem anymore. Wow. That's some serious shit. And, and, and the way that this is coming across, Gemini, is pretty, I want to say incredulous. But I feel like there is a reason for that. I feel like it's warranted because I feel like this King of Pentacles may have done some really nasty shit to try and sabotage this relationship. Specifically may have said some really awful things about within earshot of this guy to specifically try and discourage him. That's disgusting. That's gross. It's gross. Ultimately though, the King of Wands won. Boop. <laughs> so there you have it, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where you will find all of the readings that I list and my email address. Uh, shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Also, if you enjoyed this reading and if it res and or if it resonated with you, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes? With that said, Gemini, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes? Fantastic. Bye.